Hey y'all, Carl Jorn here, Pioneer Agronomist, uh, back in Northeast Illinois, following up as I previously said I would on emerging soybeans with the frost risk. Uh, forecast was to get down around 30 for a few hours and that's what wound up happening here at this location. Thought I'd just uh, give you a look at how those beans are faring. I'll ask your opinion, but if you want to know mine, I'd say we were doing A-OK. -okay. Um, can see a little bit of yellowing on the cotyledons here. My assumption is that was perhaps a, uh, a bean that had the cotyledons buried in the ground yet with the hypocotyl exposed. Remember that sensitive tissue we were worried about frosting off since we didn't get down to that 28 degrees. Um, there, there really wasn't that much room for, uh, for being too nervous. Uh, you can see though that not everybody's up and out yet. Still see uh, you know, an individual plant here with the cotyledons buried yet, in addition to um, taking a look at one who did have, uh, did wind up snapping off. So um, not 100% stand established yet, but we're well on our way. Um, I can say that uh, we can rest assured we've got a nice looking, looking stand of beans through that cold snap again of uh, 30 degrees or so for a few hours time. So should you have any questions uh, about emerging soybeans, frost risk, um, or other things in regards to your planting decisions for uh, for this year's crop, please don't hesitate to uh, to reach out. Um, you can follow me on X at Cjorn, that's C J O E R N, or on Facebook at Cjorn Agronomy. And we will uh, see you down the road. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.